Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to the Zeppelin video series. This time we are looking at how you can export your sketch screens and artboards and bring them into Zeppelin to hand them over to your client, product manager or developer. Now before we jump into exporting them and working in Zeppelin, we need to make sure to prepare them correctly. Because you see that I have currently uh, two artboards right here. Uh, one is the lock screen that you saw in the previous video, which is like a uh, artboard for the screen, but then I have like a super big um, artboard which is because of this UI kit and it's a perfect example of what not to do. If you want to export a couple of uh, those screens right here because uh, you want to have them inside Zeppelin, then make sure to create a separate artboard for each of the screens you want to export. So we're gonna do it right now. I'm gonna double click them and drag them over right here these are the screens that we will work with. Now you don't see them because they are currently still inside the artboard and we tr uh, we um, grab them uh, and drag them out of the artboard. Um, and now you see that we have some folders right here. We need to make sure to prepare them and create an artboard for every of those screens. So hit A and create an artboard. Uh, and then you need to drag your group or whatever inside the artboard. Then I click fit because I want to get the correct uh, screen resolution right there. And I'm gonna give it a name. And that's very important too because they have to uh, have a unique name. You can't have more than one screen to have the same name. Otherwise they will just override but when exporting them to Zeppelin. So make sure to have a good name for each artboard and this one will be uh, log screen, multi uh, music, music player or media player or, or whatever. Then let's do the rest for, do the same for the rest of those artboards. I'm gonna create them and then we need to drag the groups or elements into the artboard. It has to be this one and uh, click oops, click fit right here and then rename it. This one is lock screen passcode and this one right here has to fit as well. And the name of this one is home screen. Now we have our artboards and we got them prepared already well sort of prepared because we just gave them a name so they won't override which is already kind of good but what we have to do as well is to make sure that certain assets like icons and so on are made exportable for this one right here i already uh enabled the exportability um you probably saw this in the latest video and uh, if we want to also make the, the icons right here exportable, then simply select them and click make them exportable inside Sketch. And we have to actually do this for basically any icon that you want to export. So uh, those kind of icons right here also need to make, uh, they need to be exportable. Otherwise the developer will come and say, oh, I can't export the icon that you gave me. And I will also explain right now what I mean with that. So once we named our artboards, what, once we made all the assets exportable, we can select the artboard that we want to uh, export into Zeppelin or import into Zeppelin. Then we need to click plugins, Zeppelin and export selected plugins. Now uh, these were iOS uh, like artboards then uh, that's why we don't want to go and choose wrap right now. We will go and select iOS. Then we click at export and now we simply wait until they are imported. They are ready and we are able to see all of them inside our project. Now if we jump into the screens you will now see that this one is actually exportable. It's, it's an asset. It's not just a random layer be, uh, like this one right here, which just has a color. It's actually exportable as a PNG or PDF. 
if I, for example, select those icons right here, and these are the icons that I didn't make exportable just to show it to you, you can just grab the color uh, of those, but you can't export them. That's why it's important to always check your designs uh, like a second time uh, if you want to export them and if you want to make them uh, available for a developer. So now we have them inside Zeppelin, but sometimes you want to make an adjustment. So for example, you are not happy about the position of those two text layers. You want to uh, make a different spacing like that, some more white space. Then you can just do that inside Sketch and all you have to do right now is to select the artboard again and go back to Plugin Zeppelin and export it. Once you save the document, it will open up Zeppelin, it will let you choose the project and you can simply also uh, sync it or basically import it and it will override the old screen. Now it's important to give it the same name as the screen you want to replace because uh, that's the way it will work. So if you uh, renamed your screen at a certain time in the past, make sure to either uh, rename it back to the original one or go into Zeppelin and then inside Zeppelin you have to make sure that you delete your old screen because it's important to not override like a different screen or you can also rename it right here just make sure that they have the same name so that's basically it it's super simple once you install Zeppelin it's simply also installing the sketch plugin so once you install it you have the sketch plugin you can jump into sketch and export them or basically import them into Zeppelin uh, make sure as I said to always make your icons and assets exportable and then we are able also to create things like design systems and style guides but that's something I will tell you about in the upcoming videos so definitely make sure to watch them once they come out or maybe they already came out if you looked this a couple of weeks back um, thanks for watching anyways thanks for tuning in thanks for your time and we see us in the next one bye